Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Did You Know featuring Trinamir. Please don't forget to throw in a like if you did enjoy this episode and check out the previous episodes as well. But without further ado, let us jump straight into the abilities. Here is a pretty interesting one that will apply to all champions but easiest seen with Trinamir. If you're about to attack a champion or minion and just before the attack goes through you cancel it but you see the animation is in the crit animation as you saw there, the next time you attack that same minion or champion it will result in an automatic crit that would have been dealt prior to. However, if you do the crit animation cancel and then attack something different, it will not apply the instant critical. Trinimir's Mocking Shower can also be used on people through the Fog of War, but that champion will also get a brief vision of Trinimir. A really cool thing about Mocking Shout is that it will become available to use when you walk into an area where there is a stealth champion, as you can see here with Teemo. As I walk into his area, it becomes available, letting me know that there is someone sneaky around this area and I can also use it. If Trinimir's passive is fully stacked, it will grant him a whopping bonus of 35% extra crit chance. Ignore the extra 1% you see in this video as it is from runes. If Trinimir is at 1 HP, which is what he will be at in ultimate form, Bloodlust, which is his Q, will give him roughly 60 extra AD, so he has a lot of bonuses from being in a certain state with his skills. We know how Trinimir's Q can give him a huge heal when used with a lot of fury, but did you know you can also use it with zero fury for the base heal amount? It is important to remember that Spinning Slash will also grant Trinimir 2 Fury per enemy hit and 10 Fury per minion killed during its animation. Something that a lot of people are not very sure on is the fact that CC, which is crowd control, will not prevent Trinimir from being able to use his ultimate undying range, so keep this in mind when trying to CC him down before he can pop his ultimate. Since Trinimir does get his fury from his auto attacks, crits and kills, attacking a turret will not give him any fury, however, it will also cause him not to decay any fury from not attacking or being out of combat. Since building fury on Trinimir is so important, right before the laning phase starts as the enemy minions are coming, it is pretty useful to try and tank it for a bit just to get those few auto attacks in there before the enemy champion can come into lane and start fighting you because this will give you a huge advantage in the laning phase. It is also important to take advantage of the raw damage that Trinimir can unleash at level 2 using both his Q and his E abilities when attacking an enemy champion, hoping for those critical strikes. Since Trinimir's ultimate gives him 100 fury at level 3, it can be important to remember that using the Q ability at 100 fury to get the full heal and then popping ultimate shortly after will result in him getting the 100 fury back very very quickly giving him the crazy bonuses that he gets from such things. The only thing that will kill Trinimir while he is in his undying rage state is the fountain laser at the Nexus. Alright guys, time for my personal favorite part, the cool facts and lore about Trinimir. The character Trinimir was designed by Gwinsu. Brian Sommer voices Trinimir, he's also the one who voiced Warwick and Nunu's Yeti. Trinimir used to have a title named the Dark Champion, but it later got changed to the Barbarian King. Trinimir seems to have strong similarities to Conan the Barbarian. Conan came from a nomadic people of the far north and Trinimir comes from the northern Freljord. Here's a pretty interesting one. Trinimir was actually named after Riot's president Mark Merrill's character on Evercrust. That is also where the character's looks got inspired from as Mark's character was wearing a certain armor pants that Trinimir wears in his default skin. Trindamir's dance refers to the Hopak, which is a traditional Cossack dance. Prior to his rework, his dance was actually from Insing's song Bye Bye Bye. Trindamir was also the first champion to have an attack rating of 100. Trindamir's quote, I am your worst nightmare, is a popular trope used in many games, TV, movies, and music. The skin King Trinimir references his marriage to Ash, who also has a skin called Queen Ash. This also signifies his becoming as the King of Freljord. Also keep in mind that the marriage between the two is not based off of love, but based off political purposes. Highland Trinimir references to the Highlander franchise. Demon Blade Trinimir is a possible reference to Nightmare from Soul Calibur. It may also reference Haru Glory from Rave Master, as there is a sword in the anime which claims the soul of the wielder for great power in return, and eventually it will fuse with the wielder's arm as this skin has Trinimir looking. Sultan Trinimir is a skin released to celebrate the release of League of Legends in Turkey. Trinimir's nemesis is Aatrox, as in his lore it states how raiders ambushed Trinimir's clan at night and that they were able to hold it off until a dark figure 
now which we know as Aatrox, appeared and, as a result, got his tribe overrun. Trunimir got knocked unconscious and he seemed to pop his ultimate in the lore as he became completely fueled with rage. As he charged Aatrox, Aatrox swatted him aside and mortally wounded Trunimir while he was still young. There is also a very special interaction with Aatrox and Trinimir when they meet. It's the frailty of your form, Trindamir, my greatest creation. Alright, and that unfortunately marks the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Trindamir. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to submit your suggestion on who should be the next champion I do my episode on, as this one was actually the suggestion from X Chinin who also is a YouTuber and he posted he wanted to see Trinimir and that's how I started this episode. So once again, post it in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Throw in a like if you did and maybe share with your friends or favorite the video. But as always, I will see you next time. Peace.